Let's create the perfect city. A perfect layout is easy. Let's make this the main road. And using this new feature called a grid, we can make grids here and here. And over here, we'll build our industry. Otherwise, all the pollution produced here could blow into our city. That's why we build it far away. Now we need to add our essential services like water and electricity. So we're going to use this pumping station and we're going to start pumping water over here. And we'll dump all of our sewage over here. In terms of power, we've got a few options. We can build wind turbines, we can build a coal plant, or new to cities too, we can import electricity. And importing is going to cost us money. And we want to make as much money as possible, don't we? So we're going to build a small coal power plant over here. And just like that, it is an XP game. So we're now a tiny village. We get $600,000, one progression panel point, and three expansion. Now we've got to connect this power station to the roads and to our export chain. And I think an easy way to do this is using a transformer station. And then over here, I think what we'll do is add another transformer station and that's automatically connected. So that means we don't need to drag a bunch of wires everywhere. The next thing is we need to build a landfill site. And I think this little island here is the best place to put it. And then all we got to do is draw out the area. So we'll kind of like make this a small landfill site. And before people move in, we are going to need to have a medical clinic and we're also going to need a cemetery and these cemeteries are huge aren't they so like if you die here automatically buried perfect it's time to zone up this place so we'll get commercial all through here and here. And I think further down the back in these areas, we'll do low residential. And just like that, we are starting to see buildings being built with awesome cranes. And if this is all low residential buildings, these massive cranes are a little bit excessive, aren't they? Almost forgot. We need to get some industry over here. And look at that. We get XP for doing things. How cool is that? We're now a small village. We get $700,000 for building and zoning. And of course, we get two progression stuff and four expansion points. So I want to take a look at the progression panel because we've got a bunch of milestones we can have a look at, which is cool. We get taxation now, medium density housing. We get education research, which is really cool. What's in the achievements? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we can take a look at, but it's the development tree, which is the coolest thing in a CS2. So let's have Look, we can upgrade to more roundabouts. We've got advanced services, public areas, public areas, parking areas. Jeez, Aiden. We've also got electricity. We can take a look at emergency battery station, gas powered plant. Of course, we go into water. We can look at more treatment plants instead of dumping our sewage. And then we've got hospitals, you know, more medical, more garbage service areas. Then we can take a look at colleges then. So there's all a bunch of things we've got to unlock, which is really cool. Like, you don't have to wait to reach a certain citizen count to be able to unlock the next milestone, you can unlock as you need. We want our citizens to be educated, don't we? So we need an elementary and a high school in this area. So I'm thinking of putting a lot of our main services along the main road. I think that'd be a cool idea. I think what we could look at doing is on one side, we can do an elementary school. And actually let's bring the elementary school all the way down to the end. And then we can put the high school on the other side. We've got an elementary school. What upgrades have we got? We can do an extension wing that could be good we could add a playground that would be pretty insane we could probably do that on both sides here a children's clinic pretty awesome then coming into the high school what upgrades we got we got an extension wing here we can add a school library on the other side we can also add this sports field wow nice little education district and just like that we're a large village we get more money more expansion points and more progression points in terms of large village have we unlocked some Thing. Stone mining and livestock farming. Chickens? Industry? I think you know where this is going. So I guess we need to make some money. And we can use our new expansion points to build an industry. So I think what we'll do is, I believe, we're going to unlock these four for $39,000. So that has direct access to the highway. And then what we can also do is we can build a small industry over here. So in terms of our nice little chicken coop, we are going to place that in here and we can start zoning this out. So what do we want to do? We want to come down to the main road, most probably down into here. And we pretty much want to cover this whole 
area. Just like that, a nice big farming industry. Beautiful. So we are 101% efficient and only level one. So we're going to see what this can do shortly. The other thing I want to take a look at is probably some stone mining. We could probably place this in over here. So we'll make this industry as big as possible. And the only reason we're doing that is because we're trying to make as much money as possible. So now we unlock production and we can see how much we're producing, what our surplus is and deficit is. So deficit is what we're importing surplus is what we're exporting and producing yeah so you can start to see our stone production is really good so we're exporting a lot of stone that's a good thing to th see what about our grain we're exporting a lot of grain which is good we're also exporting a lot of livestock that's also a good thing so now thinking that we're making a lot of money with those types of industries do we tax the hell out of it? I don't know. Maybe we go through our industries, we bring this down maybe 10%, and will that mean our we make more money? I don't know. We're going to have to play around with this and see how this all works. So next time, I think we're going to be taking a look at communications, which is our post office, our internet. We're also probably going to take a look at forestry, vegetable, and coal mining. I think that would be a good idea to take a look at, as well as public transport. And do we want to unlock any new things in our development tree guys make sure you comment down below what we should unlock next and what should we do next here in cities too guys we need to start learning on how to make more money how the taxes work how the service fees work because honestly we're running out of money well we do have 2.4 but like we're losing a lot of money so we've got to figure out how to exploit the game in a way to break it xyz i have no idea what i'm saying but guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you enjoy guys make sure you subscribe down below we're on the road to 1000 subscribers and guys i'll see you all in a new video soon